Greetings, Taylor County. It's that time of month again. We're here at Big Bend Technical College with Director Ms. Jody Tillman, and then we also have our high school principal, Ms. Heather McCoy, here this morning. Uh, February, there's a lot of things going on this month. We have uh, Black History Month is going on this month, uh, Career and Technical Education. February 5th is an early release day uh, across the uh, district. February 14th is Valentine's Day. Uh, so you should be seeing getting a note from your school about that. There's some directions that if you're going to take something to the school to please get it there by a certain time. That really, really helps all the ladies in the, um, the front office. And then also February 17th is a holiday for everybody. That is President's Day. It's Career and Technical Education Month, so we want to highlight that. Um, Ms. Tillman is going to highlight uh, some of the things they offer here at BBTC, and Ms. McCoy is going to talk about what they offer at the high school. Uh, one thing I want to ask y'all, if I'm a parent, of a student that's elementary, middle, or high school, and the student um, says, you know, I may not be um, wanting to go to, uh, you know, FSU or Florida. I want to go into the workforce and go into the, the career. They're hearing about, you know, some of these high wages that our students are coming out of Big Bend Technical College and making. So, um, Ms. McCoy, how, tell us about that from your standpoint. So, at the middle school, there are um, three different exploratory courses that lead our high school programs. At the middle school, their options are agriculture, business, or health science. They do have a high school credit option that's digital design, which is a program that leads into our programs at the high school. So at the high school, we offer agri-science, culinary arts, digital design, and TV production for our students, and those can lead to industry certs that can also help them when they apply to colleges or if they want to go to BBTC when they graduate. And we're also adding a couple new programs, is that correct? Yes, it is. Next year we're bringing back nursing assistant at the high school and then we're going to add a program in some sort of finance. And then we also have some um, individual signing scholarships this month. Yes, on Wednesday of the 5th, we are going to, at 8.15 in the gym, we're going to be honoring some of our student athletes who are signing to go play at the next level. Both um, male and female. Male and female. That is awesome. So, Ms. Tillman, we've heard about the high school side, so now if a student wants to come out here, and also I know there's some scholarship opportunities available, we want to make sure parents know about those. In addition to um, the programs that are offered at the high school, students could also come here and dual enroll. Um, which is actually jump-starting their college career. So they could come here um, as their junior or senior years and start a CTE program. Um, we offer uh, 13 career certificate programs here, and all of our programs are high skill, high wage. So um, we have students who come right out of high school, 19 years old, and are signing for $70,000 on their starting salary. So lots of opportunities to earn a good wage here. Overall, whether it be middle school, high school, or at BBTC, there's a lot of opportunities for students. Um, some of our courses count for academic credit. Many of our courses count for honors credit, so that's um, a bump in a student's GPA. Uh, students who complete or concentrate, meaning take three courses, any program are eligible for scholarships. There's the Bright Futures Gold Seal Scholarship and the Cape Scholarship that will pay for 75% of a student's college um, tuition. Additionally, those industry certifications articulate to college credit, as Ms. McCoy mentioned. Um, they get a cord at graduation if they earn an industry certification and they get a merit designation on their diploma. The CTE background allows that student an opportunity to go to work uh, maybe earn some money and not build up that huge debt that can happen when you go to, to college. So my child um, completes those three courses um, in a uh, CT, correct? Mm -hmm. And so 75% of their tuition, if they were to come to a, um, is it a two-year, two explain that? Mm -hmm. It could be a technical college or a state college. Okay. It would cover their um, tuition for that. And the CAPE scholarship is if the student earns two industry certifications. And that's the same deal. It'll pay for that, and it actually pays for also um, if you go into a four-year university after completing a two-year program. Wow. That's why we wanted to highlight this today, parents, to let you know these, these opportunities. These two are the, uh, the experts at it. So if you have any questions, get with the high school, get with Ms. Tillman. Um, we want to make sure these opportunities are available to our students. And also, even you know, if they're an adult that wants to come back. There's a lot of scholarship opportunities here. Um, financial aid is available. So just about, uh, if an adult comes here, they can just about graduate completely debt-free. 
Um, dual enrollment is, is free, completely free, uh, so that's a really great opportunity to jumpstart the program. And uh, we're very fortunate to have an opportunity to, to train again for those high skill, high wage careers. You know, we were at a um, Senate hearing meeting the other day, at a committee meeting, and Senator Mumford said this was the best technical college in the state. Um, that was, was a proud awesome. moment for all of us <laughs> sitting there for him to say that in front of everybody. So uh, thank you for listening in to this month. There's a lot going on this month in, in February. Uh, we're also finishing up Literacy Week. Uh, there's been a lot of visitors visiting our school, reading to our students. Uh, but please remember, parents, take the time to read with your students. Attendance matters. We need to make sure they're there every day. We can't educate them if they're not at school. And uh, we just like to take this opportunity to really thank you for the opportunity that we have to educate your children here in Taylor County. It's a, it's a blessing and it's an honor. So we will see, see you soon. We'll see you next month, uh, March. Next month will be spring break. Yay! Yay still a ways off. <laughs> um, God bless. Thank you.